evening, everybody. Hello and welcome to our sixth annual Becky's, an end of the year theater showcase hosted, acted, managed, uh, scenes selected by the students. I'm Mr. Beck, and it's been my pleasure, most of the time, working with these talented kids. Uh, it's part disney kind of Friar Club roast, uh, so where the kids kind of pick on things that happen through the year, but all with approval by other students. Uh, part award show, so we'll have some awards being given out tonight. Um, and basically all student collaborators. So it's a showcase of their writing, their acting, their directing, their general theatricality, learned and explored in our theater classes. The program continues to provide a vehicle for novices and experienced delight to work together to demonstrate newly acquired theatrical skills taught via our theater curriculum. Uh, we began these awards with this program in 2017. We've grown just a little bit since then uh, to now include a four-year curriculum adventure thanks to the support of Dr. Ness Ansel, Mr. Ehrman, uh, Mr. Deppendini, and the Board of Ed staff and administration of this excellent district that strongly supports the arts. <laughs> this year, uh, we brought a student-directed and designed children's show to the elementary school, which we just completed, which is the Vaz. Um, and we completed community events, again, like Safe Halloween and Deck the Halls. Uh, these students surprised me constantly with their creativity, humor, theatricality. Uh, we're going to have Theater 1 for Act 1, then we'll have a brief intermission, and then Theater 2 and 4 will be in Act 2. So enough of me. Let's get right to our students and begin our showcase with Theater 1 Period 2 hosts, Ava and Sean. Has anybody actually seen Ava yet? No. We've been looking everywhere for her, even backstage, and nobody can find her. Although, yeah, I should have seen this coming considering she barely shows up to class anyways. Quiet, curtain boy! Oh yeah, yeah, I get it. Every scene, somebody has to tell me to pull the curtains for them. It's nice to know you're good at something. And it was nice of you to show up. It was, wasn't it? Uh, kind of. I mean, uh, we're supposed I to look nice for the showcase. It is an award show. Uh, and that's some outfit. Oh, you mean this outfit? In addition to our little group in the back seat over there, we have people like Justin and Thomas who bounce around at 90 miles per hour. You know, I really love the 90s, especially the music. You like 90s music? Yeah, especially that song Wannabe. Which one? You know, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. That one! Oh, that one! I love the Spice Girls. Really? Well, this is the Wannabe lip sync with Gabrielle Denti, Daniel Cardenas, and Olivia Renyak. <laughs> Put it in the scene. All right, come on, guys. We need to introduce the parody award. What? 
Relapse bear isn't funny. Relapse bear is sad. You're really a dramatic bear. That's hilarious. Grr. <laughs> okay. Um, By definition, parody is an imitation of a writer, particular artist, or a genre with deliberate exaggeration for comic effect. For example, Rehab Bear. Grr. <laughs> was, a, um, was a parody of the movie Cocaine Bear. Now, let's see who won the award for best parody. The nominees are Rehab Bear by Justin Kikaro. What? We won? Those are the nominees. Oh. <laughs> Thomas Haggerty, Olivia Reniak, and Gabrielle Jetsy. Anti-Dude Perfume by Madeline Jimenez and Period Nine. The Gas of Us by Kira Graham, Abigail Burns, Thomas Haggerty, Cindy Kolkifuma, and me. Um, the Scrub Daddy Sponge by Ava Vaden, Sean Seely, Julie Cheshire, and Alyssa Hardy. And the winner is... And the winner is... <laughs> anti dude perfume by a man <laughs> Can she do it? Uh, yeah. Well, 
It's a good thing we have our spot to clean up that mess. Scrub Daddy. For only $4.99, you can buy one now. And if you order within the next 10 minutes, you can get two for the price of one. Okay, back to the show. Lily, can you start drinking now? Now, audience, follow me as we start Brick's game. Brick, can you come on out? And for Brick's game, we're gonna need Ruth. So Ruth, come on out. Okay, Brick, for your game, you have to try not to get hit with a bag. Got it? Okay. Here, here Ruth, here's your bag. You may begin now. <coughs> Across this award show, and uh, that movement piece they thought they jumped about was pretty good, can't get a lie. Are you? Uh, I'm Dead Bully Crab Whacker. And? Okay, my life story. Uh, I grew up on a beach, and my whole family was killed by crabs, and uh, well, is that a crab? Crab apple. Come here, you little. <laughs> Really ridiculous. We don't need any more of them to show up. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> Man, 
What a great show we've had so far. <laughs> pantomime piece that we've done for the, well, the school year, and it's quite a great thing. It goes through love, heartbreak, and what the hell are you wearing? A <laughs> jersey, because I'm a super cool frat boy sometimes. <laughs> Anybody who talks to me, I'm going back to be emo. What could you possibly be this upset about? Like I just said, there's a wedding up next. Even unless they're finally actually getting married? Again? Well, no, that would be great, but hey, somebody's getting married. Oh, when? Hold on, let me check. Um, it says actually right now. Nice so, um, on the calendar, but we're late. Um, quick, we gotta go. Introduce the act. Um, this is the calendar pin time with Gabby, Justin, Ava, and Abby, Mia.
And today we will, be, we will be presenting the award for most improved. What? Most improved refers to the person who has made the most progress this year. Yeah, like me, who was afraid to be on stage, but look at me now. Only oh Julie last time you were a nominee, not a presenter. But Julie didn't care. In fact, she'd rather present with me because I'm the nicest of the group in the back row. Yeah, I don't care about much. It's kind of my thing. Just get off the stage, Alyssa. Fine. This will be like every other project we work on. Never finished. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Nia Andriopoulos, and these are your nominees for the Most Improved Award. Chaplain C. Alyssa Hartney. Gabrielle J. And Emily R. And the winner is... <laughs> This is good for you. <laughs> Chaplain Clint. <laughs>
one more act, and between the singing, the action, the product placement, and everything else, I can guarantee you that this right here is unlike anything you've seen yet. Sean, do not go back there! It smells terrible. Ava, I have to, we have to. It's the final act of the class. I don't care if there was some kind of zombie apocalypse or whatever's going on. You cannot go back there. I thought you mentioned it. This next one is kind of like a zombie not apocalypse. Not my point. Okay, fine, we'll find some other way out. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you have probably seen The Last of Us, which is based on the hit video game. Sonic? No, okay, Sonic was cut. Stop saying random things, you're worse than Cameron. Anyways, I'm talking about the series of Pedro Pascal. And this right here is a parody of that same show. It's called The Gas of Us and features Bowie, Abby, Thomas, Cindy, and Gavin. <laughs> We really hope you enjoy. Emergency news broadcast. Zombie sharks have taken over. Thousands have called in reporting a dangerous smell traveling all the way from the U.S. to Dubai. Please remain indoors and do not let anyone into your houses. It's coming! <laughs> The dress you're wearing? <laughs> 
night, of course, performed by the best theater one class this year. Karen is kind of like right there. Really? Anyways, the real hosts have to go get a touch up after that mess. So, um, here's Emily and Sabrina. Her name's Emily. She's literally been in our class all year. I only pay attention to myself anyways. <laughs> Moving on, please welcome Emily and Sabrina to introduce the MVP award winner. <laughs>
believe the cow like one seat. Hey, everybody. Have you guys met my friend the cow? <laughs> so, oh, do you remember when Maddie confessed to us during the Polk Express adoption? I really don't remember. So it's interesting theory two next year. She, so she can learn actual stage combat. Can we move on? Okay. Okay. The best scene nominees. Four choices by Penny Dreadful and by Cindy, Julie, Danielle, Thomas, and Alyssa, and the song trailer by Ava and Sean. <coughs> Polar Express Holiday, Adaptation, De Devin, Maddie, Sabrina, and Sophia, and an introduction by Sabrina. Can I say who the winner is? No, I'm saying it. How about this? This see if you can beat me in a rock, paper, scissors game. I'm good at rock, paper, scissors. I really don't care. Fine. Rock, paper, scissors. No. no. Uh, let's say it together, shall we? Fine. Okay, and the winner for best scene is... And the best scene is... Four Choices by Cindy, Alyssa, and Jonathan and Ed.
cookies, okay? So it is the chicken, the rice, the soup, the fortune cookies, and that's it. And then? And then you can put it in a brown paper bag and give it to me when I come to collect it because I want to eat. And then? I refuse to play your Chinese food mind game! <laughs> no, no one did! No one did! And that? No one did! No one did! And then? No! No one did! You know, you're really starting to piss me off. some of that former host song from last year. Oh, oh no, am I gonna have that with Tori and Angelina? Um, while I freak out, 
Please give a warm welcome to Angelina and Alexa performing There Are Worst Things I Could Do from Greece. <laughs>
audience to the show. We're the hosts, after all. What? No, we're not. The class here vote for us, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. Why didn't they do that again? We make such a good duo. Because Angelina did such a good job last year, even though she did have to work, and Tori and Lily were the favorites in the Birds cast. Um, I was in the Birds cast, too, so. Yeah, but you insulted the girl who played Matilda. Mm, good point. I really transformed into a monster there. Speaking of transformation, we're here to present the best Transformer Award. Basically, the person who's grown the most since theater one. And we don't mean physically. Go, shoot, get it. Oh. Go, go. <laughs> and the nominees are Abigail Almonte, Catherine Duran, Gabby Pace, and Angelina Pascuto. No, let's just open up the envelope. Nah, nah, actually, I'm, I'm opening up. <laughs> I'm moving, so I should be one. <laughs> yeah, but I'm older, so you know, Wait, that really no, sucks but, for you. No, but Maybe I you should have uh, decided not to move. Oh. <laughs> and the winner is...
I actually already reviewed the information, Mr. Applebottom. That's great, Melissa. How about you, Charlotte? I, um, I'm finding the student a bit difficult to um, understand. I'm just finding every unit difficult to understand lately, Charlotte. That's right, Mr. Applebottom. <laughs> Anywho. We have an analysis paper based off of the preamble of the United States Constitution as per our founding documents unit. I already highlighted the important parts, Mr. Applebottom. That's wonderful, Melissa. Since you already did all the work, we'll just skip over you and Charlotte. How about you read this excerpt and tell us what you take on it is? Hold on. I guess we've taken these glorious words. <laughs> Things have been getting harder and harder, and I still 
can't understand anything. Oh, I'm so stupid. I can barely read a book. I'm sure everything will be all right. Uh, hey, Melissa, now's not a great time. Girl, where are you? Get over here right now. But I can't. I don't care. Get over here. I'm sorry, Charlotte, I have to. No! Sounds like she needs you on the sea See you tomorrow. This homework is going to be the death of me. Why are you Well, well, what do we have? Why don't you do this in no time? 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 Never alone. There is always help available for anyone in need. Suicide doesn't end the chances of life getting worse. It prevents life from ever getting better. Call 988. Anyways, please, 
welcome the alumni from last year to present the Best Actor and Best Actress Award, Megan Dreyer and Luke Pichatero. <laughs> took a chance. I took a chance on theater, a blind, naive, little freshman lad, scared, alone, not knowing what I would dive head first into. But it was one of the best decisions I ever made. And I was well, putting wow, a fresh... Well, wow, Luke, that was not in our script. Did you just improvise that? What? We have a script? This is scripted? And what are you doing here? Anyway, um, hey, isn't uh, improv one of the things that Beck taught us? I mean, I went to school with theater as my degree, and you do college improv sometimes? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that doesn't matter. We're still using uh, theater in our own ways. <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, and didn't we win lots of Beckys to prove it too? This isn't a, speaking of like, uh, awards, we should probably present the awards. For what? Best actor and actress. Oh, yeah, let's get that over with. Um, okay. Best actor 2023 goes to... Luke, again. <laughs> what? Ben, please stop giving Luke awards he graduated last year. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, um, we don't have the actual envelope. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll just decide. Um, we would not be anywhere that we are today without the fundamentals that theater taught us all four years. Things like confidence, pride in our craft, and speaking before large crowds like all of you. Like, all the skills we have learned, even though I'm not a theater major, has seriously prepared me for the real world and everything that I've done in life. Yeah, neither would I. The theater classes taught me to walk so I could run in my college studies. It allowed me to pursue a passion and a, a career and a degree and theater studies so I could try and shoot for positions like director and dramaturg. I mean, the theater classes, like you said, it taught us the fundamentals and I feel like I, a well-rounded theatrical artist going into school. Beck, we are seriously so thankful for you. Um, and without further ado, the nominees for Best Actor are Justin Picaro, Thomas Haggerty, Joseph Magazzo, Robert Silverstein, and Devin Williams. And the winner is Devin Williams. <laughs> Nominees are Abigail Almonte, Madeline Jimenez, Addison Mahler, Alexa Nazario, and Ava Vaden. Now, the Best Actress Award goes to Abigail Almonte! Please enjoy. 
enjoy our fade out music. Class. 
some of you. Flotsam, Jetsam, come here. We've got these amazing costumes for you. One's for you. You. There you go. Oh.
perfect as possible, so it's just one quick scene, so just, you know, fall right. and it looked really awkward, so if you could just do that again, please. Okay, so you just rode down the stairs like a roller coaster, like, it's not a slide. Do it again. Yeah, so we can't crawl down the stairs. It needs, it needs to be a fall. You need to look like you're falling down the stairs. Okay, so just do it again, one more time. So that was closer, but I just, I need to be perfect, so, one more time. I fell down the stairs five times already, and she keeps on asking me to do it. Why do I have to keep on doing it? I have bruises, scrapes, blood streaming down my back, and she keeps on making me do it. I'm in so much pain right now. I want to have empathy for the situation, but... She keeps falling down the stairs wrong, and we need the clip to be perfect. So it's not that hard to just do it right. So I emailed Becky Lee about me wanting to join theater again, but he didn't answer my email. So I decided to go to his office and just do what I do best and barge in and ruin his day. <laughs> I was wondering if I could come back to theater next year. I realized the Italian class wasn't for me. It's not that easy, Vincent. My class crumbled because you left. You let down your classmates, and most importantly, you let me down. Oh, so you hate me? Well, you did leave my class for a time. Ciao, ragazzi! I was just, I was just wondering if I could come back to theater three and just be with my friends again. Are you willing to work like you did in theater one? Of course. I'll come back to theater and work my way to the top of the pyramid again, just like I used to. Okay, I'll ask your guidance counselor, but you better not let me or your classmates down again. I promise I won't let you guys down. I am so excited Ben Lee's gonna give me a second chance. I promise I will not let him down. <laughs> he always does. I don't really do hate him. Team. So I did some nitpicking and I found the perfect fit for Becky Lee. 
Obviously, that video was a lot of work, and normally we we're going to show something shorter, but Trinity spent like, I don't know how many hours, 30 hours doing that video, so, so we showed the whole thing in, in total. But I mean, definitely, if you know Dance Moms, definitely had that, that idea. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is call up the seniors. Um, I'd like the seniors to come in the front here. Um, I'm going to start, everybody deserves praise, so I'm going to start with uh, some of my first year students. You'll just come up and I'll just have you come to the end and you can stand uh, at the end. So seniors who will be graduating who just only took with their newbie seniors. So that would be Joe, Rose, Julie, Abigail, Bowie, and Matt. <laughs> This year, you know, I would like to have more time with them, but at least they got the opportunity to really meet and get to know them. Um, I always remark on my four-year students uh, because four years is a long, long time for me to deal with them and then to deal with me. So they deserve a lot of praise for that. Though this year I do have some some special three-year folks um, as well who either had to start late or skipped because of something in their schedule. So I'm going to start with them. Um, and I'll start with Gil. So, Gil, come up. So, Gil, you're always the first to volunteer. 
even when you don't know what you're volunteering for. <laughs> uh, if you're just someone with whom people want to work, keep that positive attitude and drive to really understand the world around you and make it a better place. I know you'll find your place, whether in teaching music or working in the arts, maybe both. Uh, I know the world would be brighter because you're a part of it. Good luck at Renner. Right Cherry, uh, my cherry balance. Strong, capable, smart, and as beautiful as your ability to capture the light in your photography. You're, uh, you're great at your creative endeavors, whether as our flash treasurer or creating our fabulous mural outside in the, uh, the lecture hall out there. If you haven't seen it, you can spend some time <laughs> designing and painting that. It will be uh, picture worthy now, but more, even more picture worthy uh, probably in the next week. Um, I know that. Uh, that I know that you are McLovett, I mean McLoved. Um, all my best to your future at FIT. I know you're going to thrive. I love that uh, I've seen you begin to take more charge of things <laughs> uh, in theater and in your life. Uh, keep building on finding your voice and speak up when needed. With your youthful spirit and personality, you're going to be great with the children you inspire. Good luck. <laughs> so, con uh, continue to learn and not find, uh, find value in yourself, um, but not through you know, what other people say, but through your own amazingness. So your ability to obsess over things like Ariana many years ago, is a statement to your attention to detail that shines through in your graphic design work and especially in our teaching unit. I have no doubt your future students will say, thank you, May, without parody, like your brilliant Theater One commercial that you had done. You'll be a great teacher. Good luck next year. sometimes, but people do see you, especially when you're on stage. Uh, it took you, me long enough for that laugh. <laughs> yes. Your artistic ability and creativity have grown over the years, and I'm glad we discovered you in Theater One, even if it was online. Keep following your passion, and never let others' opinions make you feel less than you deserve. Good luck. <laughs> now we know the founders. So I think you guys should go um, on the stage. When you get these. So Haley. So, Haley, um, I think you still owe me both monologues. <laughs> what? Yeah. Huh? What's that? Uh, Sorry, I can't hear you. But just like the patience I had with turning, you turning in your work, I've seen the same in your own self-discovery and triumph over self-doubt. Never stop growing, and like the tooth story, even when you're knocked out, you always stay real. <laughs> you say, we love you, Mr. Ben, but I say, we love you, Haley. <laughs> So you also get a tassel. 
played the clauses, but you could be the daughter of St. Nick with your childlike innocence coupled with your sense of humor and creativity. No one could bounce around like a Roblox character one second, <laughs> and the next completely out of the showcase or an IM video with such professional quality. You never cease to surprise me, and I hope you can continue to do that in your professional world as you go off to specialize in film and TV. Where, they might not be, uh, where there might not be content already out there, I have no doubt that you will be creating a lot. Good luck. Um, so, I mean, talk about growth your senior year. You went from that guy in the back of the, uh, the room, the last guy left alone on stage, well, like, except for the turkey in that last show. <laughs> I'd love seeing you develop confidence and maturity. I'm proud of your endurance outside of class, and, and um, you've been seeking and hoping you continue to find your path in the next four years. Keep that deadpan delivery, and I wish you the best in your next chapter at Ryder. <laughs> your take charge attitude. There have been some growing pains, but I have no doubt you'll find success because you certainly will not let it pass by you. As Dory dictates, just keep swimming, swimming too. and I know you'll always float to the top. Good luck, Rich. taken that amazing natural ability and worked it into a fine sculpture, now possessing some strong tools to carry into your next phase. I look forward to that shining light <clears throat> only, that only will grow brighter in your next chapter. I'm sure I'll be watching your Insta Outfit posts <laughs> while I wait for you to come back and tell me what amazing gigs you have booked. Please don't be a stranger. I know we'll be hearing from you in the future. <laughs> journey in birds. Be proud of who you are. I know I always am. Always remember to persevere. I know you're not yet sure where your life will take you, but you definitely have the power to command whatever you wish to accomplish, as long as you realize you can do anything you set to your mind to. I know this is not goodbye. Just see you later. seen a better minion.
positive note. She graduates next year, but I gotta tell you, yeah. what an amazing stage manager she is. <laughs> You are like a little brother, except way cooler. And I've had the pleasure to watch you grow from a timid, uncertain teen to a confident and best personality willing, winning young man. It will be that personality that will help you make connections on your journey, of which I know you will have success. Stay true to yourself and your passions. Um, never let anyone make you feel less than the king you are, both on stage and off. But the terrorist was right in that you always do stand out from the chorus, but so was Cedric in that it takes a team. You are the rare mixture who understands both of those things. Don't ever change, and you will be missed. and the only director I've ever known to make their cast do Zumba. But strangely, it worked. Um, that's what I think is so great about you. You are always you. There is something to find, there is, there is something to find with one who always stays true to just themselves. Let this serve you well in your future uh, as an EMS career of service. <laughs> and I hope that you succeed in whatever your plans for life lead you to tackle. Good luck next year. <laughs> you are as amazing as your ability to command the stage. There are few who can take roles both on and off stage and have everyone stare and eat out of the palm of their hands. You command attention in all that you do. You had me at your elevator skit and went on to brilliantly claim stage the change twice. I know it hasn't always been easy, nor everything you've always hoped, but you are a prize and a powerhouse. Channel your inner Leanne in these rough times and persevere. Keep being that strange hummingbird you are, because in just no time at all, you will truly dominate whatever creative field you pick. Just try to get there on time. <laughs> to their advantage. You have fulfilled your role as theater program secretary with the greatest efficiency and ability. I know you're going to be great as an educator. You've started to find your own voice. Just continue to execute a bit more of that commanding presence I've noticed you've begun to do. Most of all, just stay as sweet and kind as you are. We love you, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> so what we'll do, because obviously there's too many to light, a light, light the whole candle and we don't want to set the place on fire. So we'll all turn our light and we'll kind of point it towards this way here. Uh, I'll light this one if I can. Barbie lighters. Wait, did you last year? Did you all Yay! All right, so I'm going to light the center one here. So. Thank you to all my seniors. 
You know, I don't always wear my heart in my sleeve because it's the professional in me. But um, I do have to say that all of you, in your own way, have truly left a mark on me. Um, I know you may have your times where you're like, Mr. Beck, blah, 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 and you go on Instagram and start having group chats and whatever. <laughs> but when it comes down to it, I think you all know how much I actually care about you and will miss you all. So I'm going to light this candle in honor of the light that you will bring into your next chapter. So gather around here as best you can. We'll all kind of, we'll all kind of puffs this light. We'll point our, our candle towards it as I light it. This will symbolize your great future and light ahead. There. All right, the 2023 Beckys are over.